This is Michael W. Ford. Uh, today I'm going to discuss one of my latest books uh, entitled Wisdom of Eosphoros, the Luciferian Philosophy. This book was written by myself and uh, contributors uh, such as uh, Jeremy Crow, uh, also a pioneer uh, and fellow brother in the Luciferian path, Jacob No, the founder of the Greater Church of Lucifer, and Hope Marie, who uh, works sort of behind the scenes in a lot of uh, Luciferian-driven uh, avenues. Um, Wisdom of Eosphoros is different from every other book uh, or grimoire that I've published um, since the inception uh, in the late 90s. Um, Wisdom of Eosphoros is a culmination and uh, a uh, syncretic uh, representation of the stripped down basic Luciferian philosophy. In other words, this is where you start. This is the beginning. These are the things you need to understand and apply to your own life. Wisdom of Eosphoros defines magic in a very simple term of causing change in conformity with the will, the basic definition. Um, but there's no uh, representation of ceremonial ritual or anything like that. So Wisdom of Eosphoros is essentially a beginner's Bible, if you will, uh, even beyond Bible of the Adversary. It's a very short, concise work that outlines Luciferianism in practical application, uh, apotheosis or uh, self-evolution, self-transformation, uh, the concepts of the black flame, of uh, the origins of Lucifer and multicultural, transcultural origins of the bringer of light as Venus, the morning and evening star. Uh, Wisdom of Eosphoros is the foundation, the beginning point for the greater church of Lucifer as a individualistic uh, uh, kind of convocation of uh, Luciferians who are going to uh, impose and command their will, uh, not only in their own lives, but to better uh, those that they deem appropriate around them. Uh, the core foundation of Wisdom of Beosphoros is the 11 Luciferian points of power. Uh, any person interested in Luciferianism coming out of Satanism, Christianity, whatever it is, um, of course, if you're acclimated uh, with Satanism, Levian Satanism, or even the sinister tradition, um, uh, which deals with some darker aspects, you'll find Luciferianism a uh, complementary evolution, if you will. And, uh, if you're Christian, you're going to have a lot of deprogramming to do. And we have methods for doing that, um, and it takes time. The 11 points, Luciferian points of power, are basic tenets, suggestions, to approaching your uh, beginning with how you think, your thoughts, your words, your actions, all of these things command the future that you may want, whether you like it or not. If, if uh, you put enough energy into something, you're going to obviously make that the most important. It's going to manifest. This is a form of magic, but I really wanted to strip it down so people can understand the logic and reason behind Luciferianism as a uh, practical philosophy, balanced in the carnal or material uh, with the inner spiritual or outer spiritual. These are very important um, for the Luciferian. Uh, forget all you know about atheistic and theistic approach. You need to understand the ideology, apply it, and then however you approach it, your personal mythology, how you, if you perform magic, if you don't perform magic in a ceremonial setting, 
that's your private, uh, if you will, mythology that you utilize. Um, and you don't have to answer to anyone else about why you believe or don't believe in something. Um, many Luciferians or people coming into Luciferianism or cultism get hung up on those, uh, those definitions. And you have to understand that people are uniquely different depending on how their brains are wired, how they perceive the world. Um, so it's going to be a uh, uphill battle even trying to get them to change their core foundation belief system in terms of how they view a spiritual plane or a non-spiritual plane. Um, so go with what you feel driven towards. Really for the Greater Church of Lucifer, uh, Wisdom of Eos Foros um, is intended for all types of individuals who are um, not interested in proceeding with the slave mentality of Judeo-Christianity or some monotheistic religion. Uh, Luciferians will not bow before anything outside the self. We cultivate the inner divinity by our practice and our uh, words, our thoughts, our actions, um, whether you believe in a spirit or not. Um, this is the way that the adversary uh, demands of it in as a symbolic archetype um, or spiritual force of nature and within man. These things are very important. So anyone wanting to know, how do I begin in Luciferianism? Pick up a copy of Wisdom of the Osphorus, read it, reread it. Uh, it's a short work, it, it won't take you long to do compared to some of the other works. Um, but then start to make notes and apply it slowly to your own life. If you feel uh, the invigoration, the excitement, the uh, visualization, if it clicks with you, then you are a Luciferian. If you feel that you're left alone and there's nothing to guide you, then you probably aren't the individualistic Luciferian. Perhaps something else is better for you. Um, but read it nonetheless, um, because this can uh, cause that interchange that so many desire in the occult community and can apply it to a new way of life. Thank you for watching.